Right now, a new mural is on display in an elementary school in Oshkosh. It's all part of a larger project revitalizing the playground and spaces around Reed Elementary School. And joining us now live is Emily Eisenschenk. She is the principal at the school. Emily, good morning to you. Hi, good morning, Emily. Thank you so much for joining us. Really exciting to talk about this project, which included a lot of students at your school. Why don't you tell us about the theme of the mural and why it was needed at Reed? Thanks for having us this morning, Emily. This mural is a vibrant representation of our students. Our kids are brilliant. They're so resilient, right? They have endless potential, and they are why we work hard every day to ensure that they are educated for a successful future. For some time now, Reed has been in need of some revitalization, and so the mural is part of a larger project with many components um, that will celebrate the completion the end of June. So we are looking forward to June 25th to <laughs> celebrate from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, to celebrate it all. I love it. You're standing in front of it right now. Um, let's kind of widen out if we can, my photographer, Mike. I know this is like just a really great thing to have. Tell me about how you thought of the theme, you know, what you wanted it to be like for the students and what it was like for the students helping out with this project. Yep, working with our artist, Nao Medina, it's so important to us that we make an impact on how kids think about education, that they love school and learning and they see how fun it is and everything that they can do with their education. Um, the biggest thing is that we want them to know that they are represented, that they're celebrated, that we love them, and what better way than to put their faces up on six feet tall in a building. <laughs> We're looking at <laughs> pictures right now of the group of kids and students, and it just looks like they're having the best time. And you want people in the community to understand yeah. this is for everyone there. It is, it's for everyone. It's outside, come enjoy it anytime. Um, in addition to appreciating the artwork that is just incredible, I also want it to be a symbol of the diversity that we have in our community, and that diversity deserves to be celebrated, right? What does it mean to it, you as the principal, the Emily? It's the most beautiful thing. What does it mean to you as the principal? I don't mean to cut to you me, off there. <laughs> Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Um, to me, it means that our kids are loved. We tell them that every day that we love them and we're a school family and I want them to feel celebrated. They're our celebrities. 365 kids helped with this mural. The biggest takeaway I want from them is to know that they contributed and forever their contribution matters. I want them to take that with them for decades. Well, it looks beautiful. I know there's still a few finishing touches, is that right? It's not completely done yet, right, Emily? Nope, Nao's gonna be on site today. He's gonna weather cooperating, let's hope, and he's gonna be finishing up today in time for the party tomorrow. We've got a big party to happening tomorrow, um, an eight-piece mariachi band, free tacos from La Taqueria. Um, it's just gonna be great. It's gonna be so much fun from 5.30 to 6.30 tomorrow we, night. We are gonna talk to the artist in our next hour. Emily, we appreciate your time this morning. What a great addition to your school. Oh, a new mural is on display at an elementary school in Oshkosh. We are live at Reed Elementary to check it out. One of the artists behind this project, Nao Medina, is joining us now live this morning with more. Nao, good morning to you. Buenos dias. Buenos dias to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, the area you're from, Sheboygan, but you know you're living currently in Northeast Wisconsin. You've helped with a lot of murals in the area. Tell us a little bit more about your background and why you wanted to help at Reed Elementary. Yeah, so um, I graduated from UW Oshkosh and then moved up to the Fox Valley area. And really since I graduated in 2015, I've been wanting to come back here and paint. Um, but since then, uh, my portfolio has grown quite a bit. So I went from painting a mural a summer to doing a lot of work every summer. And a lot of my work comes from working with students, uh, maybe even more specifically students from marginalized backgrounds. Um, being a person of color myself, I find it incredibly important to role model for the kids like everything that we can be and can create and so you know coming now fast forwarding to read just stepping in the doors last year like I immediately felt the energy and the warmth mm. and so I knew it was a place to be. Neo what a great story I love it how was it working with students at Reed did you have any challenges getting this mural together? Um, you know I, I would I would have to say the biggest challenge would just be the amount I've never worked with 365 kids before um, and then 45 volunteers but you know once I wrap my head around that it's 
the, like I said, the energy is just so great and just seeing them beaming with pride and when I'm working after hours or on the weekend, they come by with their family members, just so excited to show it off. It makes it all worth it. Really does. Now, talk to us about the tools you use, the paint. I know uh, Mother Nature has kind of thrown some curveballs. You're hoping to put the finishing touches on today. Kind of explain what you're looking to do today. Yeah, so really I'm hoping to finish today, so that might mean I'm here till late, late. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what I'm using, just spray paint and then some quality exterior paint. Shout out to my people over at Diamond Vogel. Um, and then when we're all done with it, we're gonna put on like a, a coating to just make sure it's extra protected to last for years to come. Now, we're taking a look at some of the pictures of the process of this mural. Uh, what does it mean to you? What do you want people to take away from this mural for years to come? Yeah, I think, you know, when I think about this project and kind of what I've been talking about to the, to the students, I, I think about representation and how important that is. Um, growing up in, in Wisconsin, you know, I didn't have that. So I didn't know any pathways to being a teacher or a doctor or a principal or, you know, whatever. And so, like, I'm trying to get the community to come in and see how important that aspect is, but then also that these kids are worthy of love and celebration and deserving of success. And if art is the vehicle to take us to those conversations, um, then I think, you know, we're going to have our own little renaissance here at Reed. I think that's beautiful. The new mural out there at Reed Elementary School. Neo Medina, muchas gracias for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Gracias. Ten buen día.